Imagine you lived in a world where instead of going to sleep and doing useless stuff like relaxing or dreaming, you logged on to the online world of Lucid Adventure, a world full of fantasy, quests, magic, sword, and adventure. Welcome to Hardcore Leveling Warrior. In the webcomic Hardcore Leveling Warrior, we follow the titular Hardcore Leveling Warrior. Or as I'll call him, Ethan, for your sake, but definitely for my sake. Ethan is the number one ranked player in the entire world of Lucid Adventure. Powerful, skilled, and lucky. And we follow his... Oh. Um... He loses his number one rank almost immediately. Uh... Let's, let's rewind a little bit, huh? We follow Ethan, the old number one ranked player, and get to witness the aftermath of his fall from grace. Going from the strongest member in the server back to level 1. Unfortunately, during Ethan's reign as the number one ranked player, he made some enemies. Basically, everyone is out to get him now, both in-game and out of it. So with his life hanging by a thread, Ethan has to team up with players he never would have before. The starry-eyed and heroic Sora, and the rich grandson and developer of the game, Dark. All with the goal to get stronger. Now, there's something you need to understand. Ethan himself. In practically every form of media, the number one ranked player probably would have gotten there through quests, adventuring, and other noble methods. However, the difference with Ethan is one major thing. It's that Ethan is a terrible, terrible person. Ethan is scummy. Actually, in the very first episode, we hear that he's constantly blocking people from doing their quests and stealing quests. And we get to see a lot of his terribleness. Killing a noob for asking for gold and bribing a guard NPC. Ethan isn't a good person. But that's kind of the point. Too often in media, we see the heroic hero, as I mockingly call it. You know the type. The noble, honorable protagonist, above fighting and cheating. They're often here to inspire us to become better, but they often fail to connect with audiences. Not because we don't root for them. Often they pursue very noble causes, but we fail to root for them because there isn't a point. We know, no matter the circumstances, no matter the difficulty of the situation, no matter the enemy, they're gonna win. Because they're the protagonists. They're the heroes. I'm not railing on this trope because it's bad. Actually, when well written, it can be engaging, but we see it too often. We see that heroic hero so much that it gets boring. Enter Hardcore Leveling Warrior, but more specifically, Ethan. Ethan is not a heroic hero. Actually, he's barely a hero, but that makes sense. Ethan didn't get to the top because he was honorable and noble. No, he took every chance he could. Conning people out of skills, stealing stats and special items, bluffing or tricking his way to the top. But that makes sense. There's no way that the power of love or friendship is going to get your stats maxed out. Ethan isn't a hero. That's plain and simple. But what's so amazing is what it represents. I've said in the past that one of the biggest reasons I love the Webtoon series is, is because they're honest. Ethan isn't a good person. But that's what's great about it. By following a less than great person, we see him mess up. We see his flaws. We see his arrogance, his rudeness, his greed. But isn't that the point? Humans by nature are flawed creatures. We're arrogant, we're rude, we're greedy. Not all of us are noble, not all of us are honorable, none of us are perfect. Ethan represents us. Flawed people. Extremely flawed people. But isn't that amazing? Ethan isn't a good person, but by following him around, by having a story based on who he is and who he becomes, we see someone terrible become better. We see someone as rude and greedy as Ethan become a good friend, a decent teammate, and a great mentor. Ethan represents the worst in all of us, and he has all of the excuses to boot. But what's so amazing about him is what he means for all of us. That all of us, no matter who we are or what we've done, 
are capable of becoming better people. And that's just one character in the Webtoon original series Hardcore Leveling Warrior. A fantastic series with great characters, amazing moments, and pretty spectacular fight scenes. So if any of those interest you, then check it out on the Webtoon app, or click the link in the description below. And while there, check out some other fantastic Webtoon series. There's a lot to enjoy there. And hey, if you like me, then check out my channel. I talk about a lot of Webtoon series. So after reading a couple, come and check me out. But like always, thank you for watching, and thank you Webtoon for sponsoring this video.